Now I've been waiting for this episode for quite some time, because in order to tell the full story of the people that once lived properly here, this next part of the base behind me needs to be completed, as it will open up the next steps in the journey. What this entails is the removal of this wall and the inside area that will eventually become a large cave area. Now there's no light matica here, nothing made in creative ahead of time. This will be all done based on a vision in my mind that I hope can be translated in a respectable way here in Minecraft. I'm super excited about this project. But I'm also daunted by it because of the sheer size and nature of it. Therefore, I will likely split this project into different video parts so it doesn't take excessively long to release to you. I can't wait to dive into this with you, so um, it's been a while since I've had some grind work to do. <laughs> sort of. At least inside, like... <laughs> Back to more grind work. Um, I think we should get started because there's a lot to do. First things first, dig in deep enough, get a beacon set up, and it's time to dig. Let's go. So I have been informed that there's something waiting for me here at this base. It, that a certain color tongue has, in fact, responded with some sort of a, um, a message to, to me and to Athe. Uh, I, I, I dare? Do I dare try to step outside and take a look? I don't know what's here, but let's go see. Is there anything even in here? Because nothing seems to have changed here. I still got all my shulkers because that's for projects. Okay, we'll go quickly to the villager trading hall. Anything here? Okay, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Those shulkers were there before. That's for the farmers. Okay, so all there is basically is outside. What's happening here? Oh. <laughs> what is this? What? Oops. What is this? <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. You know what? Color, you might think this is a prank, but this actually is an improvement to what I had, so I might just keep these. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, that's hilarious! That's hilarious! I love it! I love it! <laughs> Look at these statues! What is happening here? <laughs> I mean, I really gotta say, it adds character! This is incredible! <laughs> I can't believe this! Oh man! It's nice to see Bjorn here! Oh man! This is awesome. This is awesome. I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna lie, color. This is. This is clever. This is clever. I love it. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else going on up here? Let's take a waddle up the stairs here and make sure that things aren't too too badly tainted by the face of color tongue all over my base. <laughs> Nothing here at the cabin. Okay. Good. 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 Nothing going on in the bushes. Are there? Or in the forest here? Let's take a look here. Now this is looking really awesome. Not gonna lie. Need more bushes. More bushes, more bushes. And ferns. No, looks to be only here. Oh, that's epic. What a great response. <laughs> I mean what kind of a prank is that? I I mean I I mean, it's a great prank, if you want to call it that, but to be honest with you, this is so cool that I don't actually even want to take it down. <laughs> Look at this! I mean, at first I was thinking Super Mario, because of the, the red hat, the mushroom thing or whatever. I don't know, for some reason, but then I'm like, yeah, okay, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Very clever color, not gonna lie. These, these, these are great. I'm gonna keep these here definitely for a while. This is uh, this just puts so much character to the area. I just, what can I do? I can't take these away. This looks amazing. Oh man, just the kind of brightening of my day that I needed. Thank you so much. And what a great response to a friendly prank. <laughs> Very good. Oh man, let's get back to work. We got a lot to do, a lot to do.
Okay, so here's a little bit of a project update of where we're at here. I'll give you a little bit of a sneak preview. Here is the entrance to what will be a very, very green looking cavern. And in here, we're going to have a couple of aqueducts as you can see here now. And this entire room will be green. I may make this a little bit bigger. It looks a little bit narrow at the moment more than I'd like to, but uh, I've got some redstone mumbo jumbo going on behind that wall over there. So I'm waiting until that's done and then I know how much I can actually dig out. But the idea of this, this is contributing overall to the overall lore or storyline of my base. And it's really involving a completely uh, immersive storyline when you get into this room because it leads to a couple of other locations which have yet to be, let's say, fully designed. Um, I have an idea of what I'd like to do. Uh, one will go off in this direction and the other off in that direction. This room is really the kind of overgrowth uh, entranceway, if you will, into this unknown and mysterious location. Now, what I'm building on the other side is a interesting lock mechanism that I've been working on now. And part of the idea of getting into this room is in fact to be able to discover the combination of the said lock that I'm working on so that people can actually adventure themselves in here and see what this story is really all about. All they can see at this moment are the village or trading hall, which in and of itself leads to a question, how are they still alive and what's going on there? That's part of what I'm trying to solve and what I'm going to be telling in this area here. But what we're going to be working on is simply, simply, so to speak, air quotes, simply. <laughs> in this room here, this whole entire cavern, I'm going to make it as nice as possible. And that's going to be this video's main uh, exhibit, if you will, and we'll work on the, the following ones later. So I hope you like what's uh, what I'm working on here. You're kind of getting the gist of what's happening. We're going to continue on with the work and we'll do another checkup as we progress. I am so excited to be able to show you this. This is a redstone contraption that I have been able, I wouldn't say I made it myself. Of course I made it myself, but I didn't think of it myself because me, no redstone, no, no, no. But I'm so excited because I managed to find a nine button panel that you can customize the combination to in order to gain access or to trigger a redstone pulse to whatever it is that you want. Sorry about all the, this is pretty messy, but this door is meant to stay closed and it's supposed to be that way on purpose. The point of this entire base, as I had said earlier, is that there are there are symbols already starting to show here. The combination of different symbols are actually going to mean something. The artisans have to, if they want to, of course, those that want to, let me, <laughs> those that want to, those that want to, no one has to. Uh, those that want to try to figure out what the code means will actually take them to different coordinates to be able to discover what the code is going to be to open this door that is going to reveal the secrets of this base. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to demonstrate the very basic and very secure combination of one, two, three, and four. And look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! All right, so we have ourselves a secret door. And now I would like to show you a little bit of a progress of what I have been envisioning that you will see when you actually, not you, you no, you're not. What you're going to see when you first come in here is exactly something like this. Without the stone blocks. That was a bit of a letdown. This is going to be the second try now. The piglin will no longer be a problem. Let me just say it that way. Okay. <laughs> As you come in for the first time, you are going to be greeted with an unbelievable view of incredible vegetation, lots of beautiful green vegetation and custom, uh, custom, let's, I don't know, rock face or whatever. So this is what I've been working on now for the last hour, I would say, is really trying to get a good view. This looks really weird from this point of view, but that's okay. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is be able to show a, a, an overgrowth 
of vegetation that is in here. And there are two ways down, one to the left, one to the right. When I'm done with all of this, I'm hoping to be able to lead the right one to the right cavern and the left one to the left cavern, which you cannot see here. And that's exactly what I'm going for. This tree being in the way and the other tree being in the way, you don't quite know what's over there. I'll be doing the same thing for the right. So everything that you come in here, you see this huge overgrowth and you're enveloped by this atmosphere of wow, like just a wow factor. That's what I'm going for. If you're not wowed now, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying my best here. It's, it's under work, it's under work. But this is what I'm going for. This is the update right now for in here. What I would like to show you, however, very briefly is this epic door. So I'm gonna go back in here and just get the combination put in correctly. And I put it in too fast. Ah, that's the other thing. There we go. There we go. And you hear a little bing and done deal. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go take a look at this briefly um, so that my uh, expert redstone uh, skills can wow you as I show you what I have built completely by myself, of course. That's a lie. Uh, there'll be a, a link to the in the description of this lovely, lovely combination lock. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I won't take credit. Well, I'll take credit for building, but not, I'm not going to take credit for the, the, the design. Okay, let, ah, let's go. <laughs> Here we are deep in the bowels of this. Oh my goodness. Here we are deep in the bowels of my redstone contraptions here. The uh, door mechanism is literally right on my, uh, on my right, your left. And uh, the contraption to open said door is behind me. Let's take a look at that briefly uh, once I pick these up. Okay. So basic idea here is it starts up at the top. Your combinations are put with non-stackable items in these five barrels. There they are here, first two, one, two, three, and then four and five. And the combination, depending on what amount of non-stackable items you put in, will give out a certain redstone strength that, or signal that will trigger the, uh, the door based on how much you've actually put in each of these barrels. So this is the uh, contraption in a, let's say, redstone for jade kind of people. Um, all this other fancy mumbo jumbo, I just, it, it looks amazing, makes me look smart, like I know what I'm doing. Um, but the main thing is that it works and I understand it enough to make it work. So uh, this is pretty cool because at the end, it actually is giving a pulse here where you hear the jukebox go ding. It's, uh, it's hitting this with that pulse once you get the right combination. And then of course that itself gives off a redstone signal. And this is my own, this is my own amazing redstone right here, giving off the signal right here, which triggers this uh, redstone clock back and forth here. It's not really a clock, but similar thing. And it's giving the pulse all the way up to the door mechanism right here. And then with the positive pulse of getting the right combination, it pulses this door, opens the door, putting the uh, combination back in will close the door and then Bob's your uncle. Uh, it, that's it in short, really. So this is a really, really fantastic system. So this particular item, this particular combo lock has been made by Cross Airs Gaming. I'm going to put the link to the video in the description. It is quite ingenious. Uh, I really like it. It's also scalable too. If you want to have a larger combination than five or four digits, you can go a little bit deeper and just keep adding layers to this until you get to the, to whatever combination you want to add. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing much more than what I've already done, which is four. Uh, that's already quite a bit of time. You got to wait to be able to push the buttons and make sure everything works. But yeah, that's that. This is, this is really cool. Uh, this is one of the best redstone door locking mechanism. It doesn't even need to be a door. You're, what you're trying to do is just get a right combination to trigger a redstone pulse that um, makes a noise here with this jukebox. I mean, that that's ultimately it. So you could, you could have just a redstone line going through. You can make it open a door. You can make it trigger uh, a jukebox uh, music setup, for example, or whatever it is that you want to do that's based on whether you get a key code right 
this is it this is super super cool so big shout out to crosshairs gaming huge 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 help for me to be able to push my storyline through uh, this is it um am i redstone genius now no not not yet okay let's get back to building never mind the artisan collective just got a new member and her name is jebeck you definitely should go check her out uh her streams are really really fun to watch as well uh, can't wait to see her first video, but in true best neighbor fashion, I've got a gift for her. Check this out. Would you like to receive this if you were brand new on the server? I mean, I know there's better things, but this is not a bad start, to be fair. And I thought we'd go have a little fun with her at the same time. She ended up starting her base, or at least a starter base, right close to myself and Athe. So... Let's go have some fun. Okay, we're at her starter base right now. I ended up going here already earlier and putting a little bit of emeralds in here too, just to get her started. Uh, I've got my villager trading hall and it's already come in handy for her. So I thought, well, if she wanted to trade some more, she can. So let's go in here. Oh, hello, Duggo. Ooh, oh, it's skunk. Oh, I love the pronunciation. That's, uh, that's, that's phenomenal. <laughs> okay. Um, how can we do this so it's not too destructive? Perfect. Or at least as perfect as it's going to be. This will be a nice surprise for her when she gets in. Welcome to the server, Jebek. Good choice of uh, location, by the way. Right next to the best neighbors. Oh, I, I, I didn't do that. It's fixed, honestly. I, I'll leave here before there's more damage done. <laughs> Welcome to the server. And the funny thing is, Jebek just came online and would like to sell me some sort of designer stuff that is uh, limit time. What is with you guys? You just keep showing up here. Uh, we're going to go see Jebek and see how this uh, whole designer ink thing works out. Let's go check it out. Nice to see you. Welcome yes, I always server. forget to unmute. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I don't think I've ever actually seen you in game before. <laughs> I don't think you have either. Here, just a minute. Just a minute. Let me. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Hello, hello. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank Love you. the outfit. Thank you. All right. What do we got here? You're closed for now. Oh, sorry. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. That was a slight error. So, oh, one moment, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, open da, da, da. for now. There Where's we go. your hold music? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Designer um, Inc. So, yes, yes. So we sell exclusive, limited, one-time offer items here. Uh, let me show you something that I just uh, acquired in our in our stock. Th take a look at that. That is, that's quality. What is this? Mm -hmm, I know. At first, people <laughs> oh, look at it and they're like, "I think eye. it's just." Yeah, yeah. It's it's not just a regular spider eye. It's designer. It's with one of a kind. Well, the only one on the server. I mean, if you if it's named that, it's got to be true. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. Uh, that's fascinating. What do I do with it? Mm -hmm. You you show it to everyone. You tell them what, what interesting hey. items you have. Everybody. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, Jebek, I'm excited. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, you're so cool. I know. You're just the coolest person ever. I mean, if I could just... <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> this is fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, how much is this? Yeah, one? I know. Uh, well, on a scale of 10 to 20, how how much would you say you like that? Uh, well, that depends on what the scale actually means. 10 meaning... 10 is the worst, 20 is the best. Oh, well, I have seen my fair share of spider eyes, although not designer ones, but certainly spider eyes. Exactly. Mm. Well, it depends what else we got in there. You might have something really good. Okay, okay. Well, we got these. These are a high ticket item, well, actually. Now we're talking. They're shiny. Uh, They're yeah. shiny. Yes, okay, yes, exactly. Just, just a minute. I'll give you this one back a second. Oh, there we okay, go. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Yeah, I like these. This is. Oh, wait a minute. Where'd they go? Mm -hmm. Oh, I put them on. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, designer leather pants. I mean, this is good. This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. I yeah, like, I, like I know. I know. Things. And Ooh, okay. If we're, are, are we on the same scale, or have we changed the scale for this one? This is still 10 to 20. How much do you like I, it? I'm, I'm going to say 15 on this one. We're getting closer now. 
All right. Well, I'll, I'll tell you the price then for a limited time 90 percent off no. you can buy these exclusive pants for only 15 diamonds 15 diamonds yes that's not a great deal <laughs> it is though because imagine amazing. what it would be if it wasn't on sale that is you're right you're right when you say it like that that's true um, exactly I exactly do, i do see a small problem with this uh designer ink place um i don't see an ender chest oh you see, because shoot, I took it to my I took it to my base. You did? I mean, I don't have yeah, that guess many. What, guess what? Guess what? Look at that. <gasps> thank you, thank <laughs> you. You're welcome. <laughs> nine diamonds. Did you say nine uh, diamonds? Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I said maybe I said like twelve or something. Oh, twelve. I don't know. I, my short term memory is kind of. Well, I, I, all I've got in my inventory is one block. One whole block. Mm -hmm. And I how mean, many? How better. many do you have in your chest? I noticed there was a specifier in your inventory well, there. Well, I'm gonna need something more than leather pants if I got to bring out some more diamonds. We well, got something good in there. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah. maybe I have uh, another. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a two a two for for oh, one oh, offer. Twofer, twofer. I'll even throw in. I'll even throw in this. The the string. Yes. Well, it still says designer, so it's got to be okay. Uh, 12 yeah, diamonds, it's designer. Seriously. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what a deal, right? You're getting two items. It's basically six diamonds each. You know how much i got to go mining to go pay for these? Mind you, I could be wearing the pants, so win-win. Uh, uh, I'm going to give you one block, yeah. and i got another one over here. Keep the change. How's that? Oh, thank you. Is thank okay? you. You're, you're too kind. Hey, no, no, really. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, I can't, enjoy, I enjoy. Be happier with these leather pants. Uh, <laughs> yes, the they nether, look they look quite good on you. Well, the nether right just uh, just didn't feel right, so um, thank mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. <laughs> Wonderful. Pleasure uh, doing business with you. I'll, I'll leave the ender, ender chest as well. You can uh, use. Oh, that thank as a you. Selling point for your next victims, a customer. I mean. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Thanks very much. I think. Yes. Uh, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bye. Bye. -bye. Well, that was a lot of fun with Jebec. Uh, very I interesting way of doing business, but hey, it, it helps out the new ones. Uh, so um, great all around. <laughs> and I got a fancy new pair of leather pants in the deal. So win-win? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But hey, I got something to show you. I got something to show you. Come check this out. So I've been working hard on here. And as you know from before, we open the dealio, bing, bling, bang, bang. And this is what you see when you come in. Check this out out this is really now starting to look pretty much as i had envisioned i've got a little bit more of uh leaves to put there in the back corner but it's it's okay even as is like like look at this place guys this is really really impressive i also dimmed out a lot of the lights i'm going to be taking out more of these torches that are still around here and replacing it with glow lichen just to uh, improve the ambience overall dim the lights a little bit more make things a little more romantic in here no i'm just joking <laughs> there's nothing romantic about this it's pretty scary to be honest but uh this is pretty much what i've been going for all along i have a little bit more detailing work to do here on the sides but i'm going to be doing that off camera again as well in between episodes but this is really what i'm looking for so when you come in to this first cavern the off actor is going to be here. I might even add a little bit more aquifers or something up here. Aqueduct. Aqueduct? Aquifer? Aquifer? Not aquifer. Aqueduct. Get it right, Jade. Aqueduct. Anyway, we can add some more aqueducts in here too. Get some more water going in here. This place is just buzzing with stuff. I, I, I love this. Maybe even bring in some parrots or something in here. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But the whole wow factor is what this room is all about. And it looks abandoned. It looks like that this has been taken over by very thick and lush vegetation of all kinds. So um, this is pretty much what I'm going for here. When you come here, you're kind of confused about where do I go? What is this place? What's going on? This place is beautiful. It's scary. It's really weird. Yep. All of the above. Um, what is going to be happening next? And I can't guarantee it will be in the next episode because these are really, really big builds to do and very time consuming. What I'd like to be able to do is proceed with this where we are going to detail this out a little bit more, add some more um, wow factor items, and we'll start creating or carving out some of the other caverns. That has been the one that has taken really a long time. 
where we have one here on the right side, which barely just goes right through, oh, by Eunice, uh, which just barely goes right through this tree and off into the corner. We'll probably take it off to the right. And I just love how this feels when you're walking around. It's just, um, just amazing, just beautiful. And then when you go off to the left, this one takes you to a little bit. You gotta get oh, through all these different vines and down here, these squeaky little places. And this takes you off into another location here to the left. This is going to be for the future. And that's what we're gonna be concentrating on in the coming episodes. This is really getting down to the, the core of the lore that, no, I didn't mean to make that. <laughs> the core of the lore, ladies and gentlemen, the core of the lore, uh, the core, <laughs> story of this entire base build is really coming from this very room and then off into the other caverns so from my point of view this is just awesome right but ladies and gentlemen that's all i've got for you in this episode here we could keep going and keep adding to this episode but really uh, I want to get this out there for you to enjoy so we can continue on with the next projects. And uh, this has been really fun. You know, as, as of the time of this particular recording, we've got Jebek, who's a brand new uh, artisan. We've got another one that's coming here soon. So that'll be fun for the next episode to bring up as well. Uh, things are happening here and I'm really, really, really happy. We have a great group of people and I really want to encourage you to check them all out. Look at my description, you'll find all of the, the uh, details related to each of the artisans' own individual videos. You can also go to theartisancollective.net and find our portal, very similar to hermitcraft.com, where you can just find everybody's videos in one place. You can even see when people are online streaming and all of that fun stuff. But thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this content, if you want to see more of this content, please help me out. Help me out. Get a like in there. Get some views in there. And most of all, please subscribe. I need more numbers. We're trying to get up to 200. This is the, this is the race to two. No, it's not a race. Stop it, Jade. It's not a race. This is the journey towards 200 subscribers, and you are on it. Thank you so much for joining, everybody. You have an absolutely stellar day. We'll see you next time. Bye.